Hi, I'm uh, Chris Brooks, the director of the Folk Pottery Museum in Northeast Georgia. And we're here today in the uh, historic Nakuchi Gym, and this is our fifth annual Folk Pottery Show and Sale. Uh, today we've got folk potters from around the area uh, featured here in the Folk Pottery Museum. We've got about a dozen of our uh, folk potters. And then out on the, the lawn, we've got uh, potters from uh, the area and from out of the area. They're uh, self-taught, they're uh, studio potters, art potters, and uh, some folk potters from as far away as Alabama. Uh, we've also got some folk life crafts going on uh, at the uh, Nakuchi Valley Slave Cabin. The uh, Folk Pottery Show and Sale is an annual event. It uh, happens uh, right around Labor Day weekend. We try to do it when we uh, celebrate the anniversary of the museum and open our new exhibit, which will last uh, for the coming year. We uh, hope you come out and, uh, and, and visit with us. The uh, museum is open uh, Monday through, uh, actually open seven days a week, uh, Monday through Saturday, 10 to 5, and Sunday, uh, 1 to 5. So look forward to seeing you. Yes, I'm Mike Craven. I have a shop down in Gilson, Georgia. Uh, my ancestors settled in White County around the 1820s, early 1830s, making uh, functional pottery, churns, and pitchers, and jugs. Yes, I do a lot of folk art pottery now, decorative face jugs, and uh, different types of uh, ornamental stuff, and some functional wear too. I still make the buttermilk churns and uh, pitchers. Uh, I've been making pottery since I was 16 years old. Uh, I'm that generation from Peter Craven who came from England in the 1730s and started making pottery. It's a warehouse that Lanier Matters made, and uh, Mr. Hunt owns it. He uh, he had it hanging in his bar or at his barn for several years, and didn't really know who made it until he looked at it one day, and he seen seen the name on it, and there've been some people appraised it, and uh, Jeff will tell you about what they say it's worth. Well, it's it's like what is it worth? It's worth, you know, it's one of a kind. We never found another one like it. Um, but you know, having been around Moss Creek and the Meadows family for all my life, in fact, I've got a couple of pieces that Miss Harry made back for me when I was eight years old. I don't know if there is a price to it or not. But um, as Welsh said, the only reason it prompted me to look at it, we were talking about it one day about something else, and he said, "Well, who made it?" And I said, "I don't know. I just hit my head on it every time I drive under it with a tractor." So the next time I hit my head on it, I happened to just raise it up and look at it and had, had uh, uh, Lanier's signature on the bottom. So um, best we can tell, it is the one and only one that he's ever made. Only one existing now that we know of. 